All right, I think we're ready to go. I think the sound should be should be just right now, not too loud like the last time. I think we're okay. Anyways, uh, good morning, evening, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing, wonderful day. Uh, today, uh, we are going to be going through the Alliance raid that I haven't done yet. Um, if you were on stream while I was doing the MSQ, uh, the other day, you may have caught uh, a little bit of uh, info at the end of the stream that after that one, I would be taking a small break and actually doing the Alliance raid. Unfortunately, that night I did not get to do it. And I decided to take a little break instead and just work on some videos that I've been posting. So you can find, uh, you can actually find plenty of, of things on the channel, uh, like reactions to the new a uh, new trial, new dungeon, and a new dungeon guide that I only just posted about an hour ago. You can check it out here on YouTube if you're if you're here. Uh, if you're not, uh, yeah, feel free to drop by and take a look. Hello, Snellin, and welcome back. How are you doing today? I hope you're having an amazing day. How are you enjoying the patch so far? Um, and have you done the, the Alliance raid? I'm actually very, very excited. The story last time was so good. I didn't expect it to like be that long. I thought it was just going to be like a little bit of an intro, but like it was massive. And I'm hoping that they're going to do the same thing this time around or as well, or that they have done it. And it's just that I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we might have Luna joining us today if he is ready he did have some unfortunate circumstances with his playstation but we'll see if he's gonna join us i can't figure out for the life of me if this is like left or right i never know with these earbuds it's like i never know which ear they actually go into does this feel right i don't know it might it might feel a little weird but i think i think we're fine let me just hop onto discord Mm, 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 and see if I am to have company today or not. Uh, let's see. Hopefully this is not too loud. We'll see. If it's too loud or too quiet, please let me know. I have no intention of ripping anyone's ears off. It's been great and done the Alliance raid. Been a good patch. A little sad about Pally though. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen some very. Hi, hi. Are you? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just struggling to uh, hotkey my astrologer. Oh, I see. I see. Well, I'll give you a couple of minutes. No worries. Um, I've seen some uh, people really liking the pally changes. Some people don't like them at all. I personally have looked into it briefly, and I kind of uh, I'm still feeling weird about like casting some things. You know, just like wanting to go goring blade and like keeping that like dot in mind or whatever, and and these things just not being the same anymore. To me, it's a bit awkward still because I am yet to like sit in front of the target dummy and just you know just practice the shit out of it and we'll, we'll see how it works like i understand i i think this is what they're doing uh I, I think they've been trying to make these fights like in trials and raids and whatnot a lot more uh scenic i guess uh and i think these cutscenes that they uh that they put in and these little like breaks in like what the you know boss is doing or whatever when he becomes untargetable so that like he runs to the other side of the arena or whatever like those things uh, i guess they really want them in fights because they tell a story in a way but they also disrupt the the burst windows and i get that they are trying to like turn things around a little bit in a way that um that i guess raids feel more like a story and less like uh you go in and you do the same thing every single time because the boss is always gonna be there uh it's it's definitely looks fast paced and i think i just i, I definitely need some time to just to just figure it out but I haven't had a lot of time to actually deal with my job changes yet, as I've mostly been just, you know, stuck in my editing jail and just making sure that I'm, you know, just going through content and pretty much, well, doing what I need to do at the beginning of the patch, I suppose. Um, it's uh, the patch overall has been really good. Uh, today I also unlocked the custom deliveries. Uh, they're in Crystarium, and the beginning of the story is just adorable. In, in case you haven't done it yet, I, I highly recommend it. It's, it's hilarious. So if you have like a crafter or a gatherer at level 80, you should definitely do it. It's it's really funny. Um, Luna, are you around? Hello? <laughs> yeah, I'm just having a hard time. I can't, for some reason, like switch 
the hotkey pages on the controller. So this is weird. That's, That's weird. Um, yeah. Do you want to do you want to tell them about about your accident or should I? <laughs> I'm gonna tell on you. <laughs> Yeah, feel free to tell them. Or should I not? <laughs> There's an awkward silence. I, I'm, I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> that's okay. Mind. That's okay. It's an embarrassing story. Though. It is an embarrassing story. It would be a lot better if you say it, but because <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want it to sound like I'm mocking you. Because like every time I say these stories, it just, it just sounds like me mocking. And that's not what I what I want to do, even though it is hilarious and I laughed so hard, even though it was really sad. Yeah, it's very sad. It is. Yeah, it is sad. So, anyways, I, <laughs> I went outside one day, or one evening, and my intention was not to stay out that long. But then I ended up staying out for a lot longer than I thought. It started raining. But how I have my setup is my playstation is directly under the window so i had opened the window just slightly and i guess with the wind it blew open like the window a lot more than i had expected and then water started dripping on my playstation and basically everywhere on my on the floor it's it was very bad it was very very bad i'm sorry <laughs> again I just wanted them to know why we're why we're waiting. But but the long story short, everything on Lunet's PlayStation got reset and deleted because he had to do a fabric reset of it in order for it to work. And now he has no keybinds whatsoever. And we'll give him a couple of minutes. <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> the worst thing about it is that I feel personally responsible for this entire event because he was with me <laughs> and I didn't I didn't know the state in which he left his windows and later on he just like texts me and sends me a video of what happened and I'm like oh my god like I feel so bad <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to like not be the meanest person in the world. <laughs> it really sucks though. Like, I, I probably wouldn't be laughing if he wasn't planning on, on buying the PlayStation 5 suit anyways. Like, he is like going to replace it, I suppose, but it's still a very, very sad turn of events. If I if I add you to a party, will it, um... <laughs> will you have a button to accept it with? Are you around? I think we lost him. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm also on push to talk, sorry. That's okay, that's totally fine. You don't have to be on push to, push to talk, I can't hear it. Hey, it has rain? No, you, you, guys, you guys can, uh, so you don't hear me rage because I'm uh, frustrated with that. I can't switch to the next page, it's annoying. That's totally fine, that's content. <laughs> you don't have to be on push to talk, it's all good. Um. Yeah, I'd love to read the story though, but I will wait for you. Like, how do you- what do you mean you can't switch? Like, on your controller, you can't switch to another menu? Is that like a button that used to be bound and now it's not? Um, no, because the settings got switched up, like, even the... the controller settings, so normally oh, I God. Have one to switch it to the next page, or hold it so I can, like, choose which page I want to turn it mm -hmm. into. But I wasn't able to... The R1 wasn't working for some reason. But yeah, I got it now. Is it's your... Good. Maybe your controller got wet too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well that will be a fun raid then. Uh, I'll be ready. What? Give me one minute, then I'll be ready with sure. the mic. I'm just trying to figure out where the quest is for... Uh, for the, the raid. I think they said it was in Radzahan. And I'm just trying to, to figure out... Maybe it's not here at all. Do you know where it is? <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. You have no clue, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. 
because there's there's no way I'm just gonna guess it. Uh, and the name of the new raid is so hard for me to type. Like, I don't even know how to say it. Oh, it's in Mardona. I see. Why is it in Mardona? That's weird. Thank you, by the way. Since the quest is called... I just want to see what it's... What it's called. Return to the Phantom Realm. Okay. Mardona. Is that where we left off? Like, back then? Is that where we... Hmm... Like, where yes, the last quest was? Oh, I see, I see. Well, that makes sense, then. Mardona. Mardona just doesn't belong to anything. Like, it's just like in other, like, always has been. That's so weird. What is this? Gunbla- okay. I was like, I saw a red quest and I was like, please tell me there's no, like, I don't know, some sort of, like, requirement or whatever that I don't have. Like, I know I finished it. Okay, it is here. It is here. Are you round? Ready? Oh gosh, Derek is back. He's so cute. <laughs> you good to go? I'm not rushing, I'm just I'm just wondering. <laughs> You're still on push to talk. Yes, give me a sec, give me a sec. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> In my mind, I thought that... I don't know, like... I was imagining that we would it would take like three or four hours to finish it, or whatever. And then I forgot that it's just one wing. That we're that we're unlocking, so I think a couple of hours will be will be enough. Because well, I'm saying this because after this, I have to also go to a children's birthday party. So today is a little bit of a hectic day. I'm gonna do the alliance raid, and then after that, I I don't think I'll be streaming anymore today because today is just going to be a mess when it comes to to my arrangements and time management and everything. So I will make sure I will make sure I do this, and then after that I will be seeing you tomorrow. Um, what is going on? Me? Yes, you. Oh, hi, King. Okay. Hi. Hello. <laughs> yes, yeah, like people see you stand there and they have no clue what kind of trouble you're going through. <laughs> Well, on the other hand, you should be grateful that your bunny boy is still in the realm. Yeah, oh man, I was so scared that it was not gonna work. Like, for that first couple of hours, it was it would not get off safe. Why fucked up my PlayStation? Oh, the pigtail actually cuts through my clo cloak. What? I thought I fucked up my PlayStation. Yeah, I bet. You're gonna go as Astro? Yes. If I can ever hot key it. How far along are you? I'm almost done. Okay. No worries. I'm just wondering. I'm not I'm not rushing you. I'm just It's like I have this thing like when I can't see something and when I'm inquiring about I don't know progress i inquire a lot even though i know people are working on it as fast as as fast as they possibly can it's like whenever i can't really see it it it's it's hard for me to it's hard for me to stay patient <laughs> sorry <laughs> and i really want to get to the raid and i don't want to spoil the story so but that's okay this was this was my fault at the end of the day I am fully responsible for this delay. I will take responsibility, claim it as my own, and will carry the burden. <laughs> Blame it all on me. So you mean? I'm the one that left my window open. Yeah, I'm the one who called you out. <laughs> yeah, it's true, you did. It's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, I did it. 
<laughs> didn't <much>. mount? Oh. <laughs> well, that's the last one you need. But that's a good reminder anyway. Like, I'm sure there's some something random that you're going to, like, encounter mid-raid and you're going to be like, oh, shit, I should have had this. Yeah, it's probably going to be raised. What? It's probably going to be my raised. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, we all know I'll need that. <laughs> Anywho, return to the Phantom Realm. Derek betrays a gleam in his eyes at the sight of you. Oh, greetings, V. If you've come to ask about developments in our Phantom Realm investigation, then your timing couldn't be better. A short while ago, I received word from Gaatia. He and Kral have completed their preparations in Shireland and are ready to resume field work. Even as we speak, they make their way hither. Let's wait for them together, shall we? I actually expect a lot of this story. I just remember how wowed I was. Like at the like the first wing and the storytelling and everything. Like I hope the second one is gonna be good as well. Ah, there they are. I love his hairstyle. Is that like a like an ordinary like men's hairstyle or I doubt it. Kind of nice to see all the familiar faces. Oh my god, what's happening to him? Is he okay? <laughs> that looks like Prowl's got him doing. <laughs> oh gosh, what is that? That oh my god, what is it the Hamas are carrying? It looks like that brown bunny boy from Endwalker. Yeah, it does. Like the Gleaner, right? In uh, in Labyrinthos. Yeah. yeah. This, my friends, is the latest technological marvel to come out of Charlotte. I give you the etheric analyzer. <laughs> Holding it thus, you take a measure of the ambient ether. <laughs> Whose waveform is then recorded by etherotranscriber at the back. This provides us with detailed data of the environment which we can study at our leisure. As you know, the Phantom Realms are hidden by illusions. In order to ascertain their nature, I suggested to Kryl that we record the data with proper equipment. And this is proper equipment, oh my gosh. Alas, said equipment is tremendously cumbersome. Rather, Raha has done well to bring it here in one piece. And as expensive as it doubtless is, I hope we can return it in the same condition. Yeah, watch it break during the raid. <laughs> return it. Yes, to the forum. In approving our investigation, they granted us use of the device in addition to their financial backing. Despite the stu oh, so they're sponsors. <laughs> I see. Despite the students' greatly reduced scale, the forum has faith in our endeavors. Thus did the approval notice declare, I'm proud to say. We owe much to the, of this goodwill to the science, yourself not least of all. That being said, we can't depend on a forum indefinitely. No, we must stand on our two feet again. And it begins with our efforts in this investigation. The Twelve are meant to be Yorzia's guardian de deities, yet they seek battle with mankind. What could it possibly be that motivates them? What? What? Did you say something? In treating with, with them earnestly, I'm hopeful that we will find the answer. Well, we shouldn't keep Snow Guy waiting. Without further ado, let's join her in the Omphalos. I love how we're gonna get to spend more time with Kryle. Really looking forward to it. Okay. okay. That's not far away. Poor Raha, right? It's like, why is he the one to carry it? No, I guess it's fair, like, 
I doubt Cryo would 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 be able to carry that, but still, what? That thing is taller than Cryo. Like, good thing we didn't. They didn't make us carry it though. I could totally see that coming. I love this place. This place is so gorgeous. Like sometimes I come over here to just take like screenshots. Oh my gosh, she is so tall. <laughs> Welcome back. Well now, if that isn't the etheric analyzer, you've done well to get a hold of it. Indeed, we are duly grateful to the farm for the loan. It's no small thing to be lugging about, but I've always wanted to try it. It's a bit masochistic. That's a, that's a bit masochistic. <laughs> if you're ready, Raha, you may proceed with measuring the ether of the Phantom Realm. Beam, please assist him, will you? Like we go in straight away? <laughs> in the meantime, I have a mind to further examine the monument with Snoga. How does that sound? Like a plan. As a matter of fact, I've already done a little bit of work on that front. As you previously determined, the monument harbors some manner of magic, and this magic, I have since found, takes the form of an epigraph. By consulting experts in the field of archaeology, I was able to make a discovery. Oh, yes, a most startling discovery. It's like, are you gonna share this? <laughs> it's very dramatic. That is, the epigraph is largely incomplete, so we can't read it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Look at all of the secretly disappointed but not wanting to show disappointment faces. <laughs> So, you didn't make a discovery. <laughs> ah, but see, establishing what one doesn't know is also an important step in research. <laughs> For a blessing, the language used doesn't appear to be completely unknown. If we can but fill in the missing information, it should be possible to make sense of it. But where do we even begin looking for such information? Why, we ask the gods themselves, of course. Just like, what, call them on their link pearl? <laughs> like, what? By giving them the battle they desire, we're doing them a favor, are we not? That being the case, I dare say they would praise us with their presence if called. Please come with me. Yeah, I think that's exactly what she means. <laughs> I love her hair color, though. It really suits her. Oh, the things I would ask them if they really did appear. What do you mean? Well, if they don't appear, there's no raid, so... He doesn't know that. <laughs> now, going by astrology, the heaven of Ur- the he heaven- he- Heaven of Earth should be next to open, and it just so happens I know the perfect incantation for this purpose. Well, at least you know something, so... <laughs> open Montu. She's so dramatic. <laughs> it's a time-honored charm passed down in Gridania whose patron is Nofika, one of the deities said to dwell in the heaven of Earth. Come everyone, say it with me. It's like, everyone's like, is this gonna work? <laughs> is she trolling us? <laughs> I don't remember this lady in some of the books. Oh, but which one are you gonna <laughs> go with? The first or the second? First one, of course. Second. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I want to see my face. Like, am I gonna be less than enthusiastic? 
Like, I love how it's the same thing, but like, it, it basically means two different things. <laughs> Is this like a god phone? It's for extra, extra, extra loud difference. What delight delightful children you are! I do have desire to speak with you. Oh gosh. She is actually really there. Oh, she is gorgeous. Ubud? <laughs> yep. I love how she's like instantly in love with her. <laughs> By the 12, it's her. It's really her. She looks precisely as depicted in legend. Amazing. I guess that's her deity. <laughs> deity or deity? Or something else. Deity? I don't know. <laughs> it is an honor to meet you, Nofika. If I may, what is it that you wish to speak about? I want that glam. <laughs> That's so good. You seek to decipher the monument, do you not? If you face more of us in battle, I myself included, we shall grant you the key to unlocking that mystery. <laughs> Everyone's so charmed. We would of course be much obliged for such a gift, but are you certain? The gods before were not exactly forthcoming with your secrets. <laughs> Closely have we watched you from our respective sanctums, watched as you faced us and pursued the truth with pure hearts and minds. Is battling to get information, does that equal extortion? In a sense, yes. Yeah. So basically it's ex extorting the gods. Well, they're extorting us also. Well, yeah, but still. <laughs> In light of what we have seen, we have concluded thus. Even should you uncover the monument's purpose, you would still be willing to lend us your aid. Help us to fulfill our heart's desire, and so too shall we grant you yours. Oh, really? <laughs> right? <laughs> I look forward. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't miss that. <laughs> I look forward to receiving you in my sanctum. Oh, yeah? <laughs> my dear children. <laughs> Shut up, she's so wholesome. <laughs> now with that dress you found. Right? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to ruin her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they know exactly what, they, what they're saying. Yeah. Yep. They knew what they were doing when they made her. I think so. She's a total fan service. Okay. Or are you still loading? I'm a little behind in the cutscene, sorry. That's okay. Just tell me when you when you get to Graha. Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil something for you. Like I, I would I would think that I don't know that the rain has at least cleansed your PlayStation from its sins, that it no longer makes noise and that it works faster somehow, but I don't think that's <laughs> that's how it works. Surprisingly, surprisingly, it's not making a lot of noise. Because the dust is probably off. <laughs> yeah, it got washed away. Yeah. Uh... That's a risky way to clean your PlayStation, but you saved yourself like what, like $30? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <That's the thing. laughs> but gained a lot of stress <laughs> in return. Are you ready? Hello? Are yeah. you ready? Okay. The original plan was to revisit the heavens of lightning and fire. But I believe all would agree that we should prioritize Nopika's invitation. <laughs> Yes, please. Yes. Well, Snowgram, your charm did the trick. The way to another heaven lies open. And beyond it, the truth of the monument. 
Please say nothing. <laughs> I can scarcely wait to pour over the etheric data. <laughs> Raha V, I leave it in your capable hands. As for you, Derek, may we rely on your guidance once more? No? <laughs> okay. Now that we know what awaits, I don't feel my presence is necessary. On the contrary, I would only be a burden. No, I don't think that's the case. As you wish, of course. We can still count on you to pray for our friends, though, I trust. I'm glad that I can join you this time, B. Encumbered as I am with the analyzer, I won't be able to. I fear I won't be able to assist in battle, but I shall do my part and secure the data we need. Um, and hello and welcome back. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good one. We're doing the new alliance raid, uh, for for the new patch today. It's actually a really really good story. The last one was gorgeous. I I can't wait to see the rest. I'm sure we're gonna see all of them, right? Because this is just like, this is like one wing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, before we start, I just need to run to the bathroom real quick, and and then we'll go. Uh, I will I will be right back. Everyone's in. For oh, definitely, definitely, absolutely. Rubicante is such a freaking sweetheart. Rubicante, I didn't expect him to to be so wholesome, but I really enjoyed like his dialogue and the whole fight. It, it was even better like after going through like that part of FF four at least. Like I don't know, the fight just really I don't know. It hit me differently, and I'm I'm glad that I played four. Uh, but anyways, I will be I will be right back. Yep. back there we go okay are you ready yep uh, just looking at fire emblem the four generals come in the following uh, flavors the arrogant one the dumb one the narcissistic one and the noble one i mean they're kind of jrpg-ish tropes so they're not fully i guess unpredictable in that sense but it's still i don't know like i don't i don't find that to be like repulsive or anything like that i, I mean I, I play jrpgs obviously i, I like those <laughs> so i don't mind it uh are you ready to queue oh yeah okay dude i've just realized yeah i have to like hotkey all my classes yes i was just thinking about how you play all jobs and how they're all at 90 and how it's gonna take like two days to do that Literally. That sucks. And my camera angle is also I don't know. I what? How to, I forgot how to do my settings. Oh, I see. I see. Do you remember that guide that I made like almost two years ago? Like when I was learning these things, so I just like put it in the video. It's like those um, like quality of life settings and whatnot. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if I showed that one to you, but but like it actually has a bunch of those like tips for settings and like how to do your camera, how to do all these things. And 
I never thought you would need it, but <laughs> I actually well, remember putting a lot of effort into into just like putting it together. So long. Out. Yeah. What? It's like it's been like a couple years since I had to do my setting. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Uh, Bl Black Mage is not particularly difficult, I guess, per se, but the problem with Black Mage is that you kind of need to, I guess, know the fights to be good at, at Black Mage. Like, you need to know what's kind of going to happen in the fights, because there's a lot of just, like, being forced to stand around, and sometimes you can't. <laughs> yeah, especially at the lower level. Yeah, this is literally like entering the like the Windows XP background where it hasn't rained for like two years. <laughs> they should have like they should have trolled us. They should have just added like some sort of meme version of like the uh, Windows XP music. <laughs> At last the time has come. Oh, I forgot that they're all voice acted. <laughs> She is. Oh, she's a reaper. Well, of course she is. She's in a in her freaking field. <laughs> oh my god! Right? It's like you almost don't want to kill her. <laughs> well, fight her, I guess. What about? Huh? Nothing. Oh, the music is nice. You know what, Reaper Class was based on an actual weed farmer. Yeah, and what a farmer she is! <laughs> I mean, look at her! Right? Okay, am I- am I lagging for some reason? Because I'm looking at my stream footage, I- I lagged for a second there. What? You were lagging, but you're good now. I think I'm good now. There was like a little bit of a- yeah. I-, I funnily enough, it says that I have zero drop frames. Prove to me life's resolve! Okay, we got this. Abundance. What is abundance? Why am I main tanking? Look, you can almost predict that the fight is gonna start off with like an AoE that can't really be avoided. I guess there's gonna be like an end, like a. Oh, oh, that's pretty. What is the. Okay. Ouch. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, wow, oh, wow, am I, I, I think I'm standing in the wrong everything. Matron's harvest, what? Like, I, I need to stop asking questions because I'm not going to get any answers and, <laughs> like, whatever happens, happens. If I die, I die, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is easy enough. Oh, okay. So this happens, and then this happens, and then Let life flower. then that's it. It's like there are some troll mechanics that that require you to know what's gonna happen in order to survive, and I bet they do it on purpose to just like have everyone wipe on their first run. <laughs> is there still ping? I think I'm gonna have to refresh my uh, refresh my screen or something for some re for oh. some reason. Okay, I'm gonna refresh it now at my own risk. Okay, so I re I refreshed it. I think it should be fine. And sometimes it happens like as I load like into new things. It's like while everything is being processed for the first time, sometimes there's like a slight thing. I don't know if that happens to, to you. This fight is gorgeous though. Isn't it? Yeah, what is this? What is... What? What? Triangle... What? Oh, one, two... Okay, one, two... I don't get it. One... Three? What? How does everyone know this? I don't even- I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, these expl- Oh, they explode in order. I didn't see the order for these two top ones. Sorry about that. I see. I see. 
Okay, I get it, I get it. The other the other two circles also have the the markings. This uh this floral carpet thing looks like that that carpet that you get as a as a gatherer from Scripps. I think you got me that one, right? Do you know which one I mean? That's in the in my apartment. Okay, this one resolves, and then oh, oh shit, and then this one. Oh, I got a, I got a little hit. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Well, at least I'm. Ooh. Well, I'm not gonna main tank her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't look at guys before uh, before before going in for the first time. I like to be surprised at the cost of whatever it is that's happening here. One, two, three. What is this? This other one. Oh, so you need to stay in the color. That okay? I get it. I get it. I get it. It does have everything to do with colors. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I love the chaos. Because it doesn't really matter, like, no one really- oh shit. No one really blames you. Because <laughs> it's everyone's first time, but like, it's- it's made, like, not too difficult. Like, difficult enough to be chaotic, but not too difficult so that you're repeatedly just standing there wiping for the first time. Because the, the point is to just kind of also experience the story, I suppose. And the way like my heads up display right now is set up, it's really throwing me off. Like Good it's really, oh, so like, yeah, because I'm not used to like, to like this. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the gear. Oh no, no 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 no! What am I doing? What am I doing? I forgot. Well, yeah. The Shit. Head Okay, okay, I got the hen f the fending one. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I accidentally gre greeted on the other one. Because I forgot the rules of the loot. By my but I did get the, 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 the one for fending. Oh, that's so pretty. That is gorgeous. I've never seen anything like this before. That is so cute. That is adorable. I should actually wear it right now, should I not? This one is... Yeah, what? Shit. Yeah, it's 620. It's so pretty. It doesn't work with my glam, but... Oh, and I guess we get the coin today. Oh, that's sick. Nice. nice. Yeah, the coin, also. So we can augment the... the new gear. Can the we? Lunar, the lunar gears, yeah. What do you mean, augment the new gear? Which gear? Yeah. The, um, the new tome gear, the the lunar gear. Oh right, right. I forgot about that. Because um, you can exchange the yeah, coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I love how you were suddenly excited about it. It's like, ooh, actual new patch, <laughs> actual new stuff. <laughs> Yeah, you got really distracted by like the PlayStation thing that you're just like coming to terms with the fact that this is actually supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Cause like I didn't, I only got, I, I only did like my hotkeys and such, my binds. I mm -hmm. didn't get the chance to fix my heads up. Before, so. Yeah, I'm sorry. So... Well, that's what happens also when you get up at eleven. <laughs> I was gonna say because I woke up late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, we know what the reason is. You had time. Well, I was trying to, like, stay up, but then I should stop laying down when I'm sleepy and well, I just ended up napping. 
Well, I, I woke up because I have to like work on a video or whatever and I started like waking you up because I knew you wanted to get up and like do whatever. I don't know, but like I started at like four or five in the morning. Wow. And you well, woke up awake, at you know at four. I was awake at like four. No. Or like three. Somewhere three. Because yeah, I was messaging you. Yeah, and but I, I was think, asleep. Immediately, immediately right after that I fell asleep. Is this like a mini boss? Uh, I need help. It's not you. <laughs> Is there still thing ish? Oh gosh. I think. Am I safe here? Am I alone here also? Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Shit! Oh, that had to happen. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, everyone. Everyone in our party's range, and I'm getting like DPS cards. Sorry, guys. Only you get the benefit. <laughs> what? Oh, I see. You're literally the only DPS, like, physical. Really? Wow. Yeah, command like DPS. Forgive me, but I couldn't stay Oh, my Mia! Hmm. It seems my sister shall be joining. Is this... Hold on, somebody said wait. Yeah. Yeah, tank C is, like, not here. Yeah, maybe, maybe we do. I don't, I don't know. Do we replace them? I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know. Well, that's not our line, so... No, but th there's also all of us here, so... So, you, how how do you replace a person, like, if they're offline? Because the person seems to be offline. I think I can fix my heads up display. Says we only need two tanks. And I'm just, like, realizing, like, mid-battle, I'm missing some stuff in the hot seat. So, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, I knew, I knew that was gonna happen, like, I told you. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. It is only fitting that we face you together. Spinner's wheel, what? I don't know what that is, but... Okay, so you're personally responsible for keeping me alive because we only have two tanks. I have a heart... thing? I gotta make food. What? I don't know what we're doing. No clue. I what? thought you said I gotta make food. I was like, what in the world are you talking about right now? <laughs> like, can I just, like, stand here and just exist? Like there's something at three seconds of some time accelerates. Is that like haste? That feels a lot like haste. Well, I guess we're all hasted. I think people are panicking. People are like, oh, it's gonna be rough with two tanks. It's gonna be fine. I shall measure your work. Me not knowing how to play my job is a whole nother issue, though. Like, I'm just gonna stand here. Nothing's happening. I'm just 
I'm just keeping it turned away, and that's that's it, right? What? Why does it say? I feel like I need to do something specific. I don't know what that was. What the f- Okay, so you basically just like avoid those oh, waves. Because ah. they like spin you around. I'll be fine. Why is everyone out there fighting the guy? <laughs> Hydra states of what? What? Is there gonna be like a symbol that I I receive? That anyone receives? Do we all go there? Do we all soak this? What do we do? Hey, I I had my arms length. Oh my god. What is it? What what does this mean? So I bubbled. I don't know if you got resurrected. You did. Okay, but like, you have some time. I still don't understand what's happening. <laughs> like I have these stars that... So I need to look at her because it's like a question mark? I guess we look at her. I'm gonna look at her. What's the worst thing that can happen? It's like maybe if you look away you get in trouble. I don't understand my new job. <laughs> but I feel like, yeah, I feel like they should be be targeted equally because maybe there's like an enrage of, a, of some sort, like if we kill one, you know? Oh, this is the the annoying thing. So we we do it again. Oh, that's okay. That's the the time thing. Why does it say two? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't make it in time. What? I didn't make it to the middle in time. Oh, you didn't either. <laughs> I thought it was 3, 2, 1. It wasn't 3, 2, 1? I don't know, because I was... Oh, shit. Okay, I, I think I need kind of a fast res if you're around. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying! Okay. Okay, we're we're fine. <laughs> kind of. It's it's hard because I don't understand what's happening. It's <laughs> fate. It's like upon the most exalted of battlefields you shall stand. So I guess I just pass on all of these. We are to come to a frozen blue. Maybe we should- Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Wow. That's so pretty. That is so nice. Like, is it possible that we're halfway through? Yeah, 
asking if you want to meet. Yeah, thing. I know, I know. Like, why is this person so condescending? Like, they're like, you know, there is a skill that tanks possess. It's called intervention. It's like, dude, <laughs> we were both dying for like a good amount of the fight. It's like. Jesus. They're waiting for you to main tank. Sure. Well, I, they were talking also. Like, I thought there was something to to discuss. Shit. Where do where the fuck do I main tank? I am trying. Well, dude. This is like impossible to manage. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being mean on the on the first day of the raid. Do you got this? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but the other healer does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't rely on me. Yeah. I still can't get over the fact of how my screen looks right now. Like the default settings look so big that I have no space in my screen. Like normally I like to keep the middle of my screen like clear, So, so basically make... you're zoomed in? Yeah, and then like it's I think it's at 150 right now. I usually like it at hundred. Well I don't know, like for there's just like there should be like just like a button yeah, 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 that like so. zooms out. Reminds me of that place in Harvest Stella. Me too actually! It's like I that winter zone. What? The user interface size, I think. I see. I don't I like see. Okay, when it's too big. I see. Because then you feel like a person who's actually there and not like an observer. <laughs> well, at least I feel like that. Alone is gorgeous. Phew. Can we That's go? My I'm gonna go. The fury shall test your strength of spirit. Rain of spears, that's probably unwell. I love how people are like, do you want a main tag? It's like, it's everyone's first day. It's like, what do you expect? Okay. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, okay, so you need to, like, remember this. <laughs> cool. Donut. Right. Point blank. And then back. What? Okay, it's gonna be donut and then the right side and then point blank and then there's gonna be left shit i caught all of them even though i <sighs> i had this idea of what what there should be done that's great well i had the right idea i was just disoriented as hell I'm gonna have to do this like one more time. You must do than Dreadnought, game. hello and welcome. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a lovely day and a lovely patch experience. What is this? What is this? How are you? Holy. I don't, what? I don't get, what? It's probably always safe to stand wherever wherever they've finished casting. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Is that gonna be like a cone damage or ah, there it is. Chaos. 
Like, we have someone in the group who's either read a guide or who's done this already. Because they know the skills that are supposed to be used. Like, I don't think I necessarily appreciate, like, seeing these things in the chat because they make me feel pressured. It's like, why do people do this? <laughs> As in, like, it's okay that you know, but, like, just because you know doesn't mean that everyone should know on their day one, right? Yeah, never mind. I got it now. Victory must be seized with one's I own hand. Fix my hot key, but... What? I just... This what? fight has really, like, made me realize how I had my... My key set. Yeah? Yeah. Uh oh. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <sighs> Everything's so chaotic. Is anyone where we are alive? We're fine. Okay, not fine, but what? Okay, so I should be here. I don't know. I don't. I don't get it. Ah, oh, shit! Make some room. I'm gonna get caught in all of them. In ice, now rest. Mine is the well, we lived. Yeah, there's like I th I think. Like, as some effects or whatever, as they happen for the first time ever, like, as they're loading, for some reason I do get, um, get a little bit of, um, like, a little bit of lagging or whatever. Uh, would that our clash could continue forever? I'm sorry about that. Okay, we're fine here, aren't we? I don't know why that happens, that's so weird. I don't remember that happening before. I love the sound of like ice cracking. Very satisfying. Okay, I got it. <laughs> What is this? This we haven't had the skill yet, have we? Or or did I not pay attention? This one and then this one. And then point blank. Okay, so this one and then I move to that side and then there's gonna be this one and then we move in. Okay, perfect. I think I got it. <laughs> Well, I killed someone. They were in my way. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing either. This part, I don't really understand, but I think we're fine. Did you pull me? Yes. Thank you. 
I was gonna yell angrily, and then you were right. <laughs> hey, it's first time for everything. For you to be right? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, we'll be as fine here. Yes, lose yourself in the joy of battle. Well fought, Your next that was, Yeah. That was very, very good. So I received the loot, and now there's nothing for me to. There's nothing for me here anymore. <laughs> I got a headpiece though. Did you get anything? Ooh, Thank this is know. so nice. Wow. <laughs> That's so pretty. Whee! <laughs> I like it. Very fun. I think she is my duty. Come bathe in the the lover? Uh huh. The song's kind of nice, isn't it? Wait, where to? Why are we the only ones? Oh, we're not. Never mind. <laughs> The song's awesome. <laughs> Everyone's dancing. <laughs> you get it? What is that? Oh, body piece? Oh, nice. That looks so good. That's so pretty. Which one? Yours. I'm looking at it. Right. Like, on well, my model at least looks good. Can't wait to see the whole gear. I didn't really want to spoil it for myself. The song is good. The song is very anime, isn't it? Oh, I should be tanking. <laughs> like, sorry about that. <laughs> the moon forms at her command. What does that mean? Is that trouble? I don't want to like shower everyone with something, but I don't know where to be. Oh gosh, I shouldn't have been in front of the moon. That 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 much is obvious. Stay away from the moon. <laughs> yeah, that frost is probably no good either. I'm gonna bubble, so I don't know how hard this hits. Oh, that was like... Oh, I see. I should have taken it further. Did you bubble? Yeah, I did. I didn't know. <laughs> did we go in? I think we go in.
There's a safe spot behind the thing. Oh no, that's not safe. What the hell are these? Oh, I see, I see. So when like the moon is like full or whatever, it expires or like goes off. And like you need to pay attention to like the stage of the moon or whatever. I see. Hi Victor, welcome back! How are you doing today? By the way, I, I saw your message but I didn't greet you. How are you? It's so good. How do you like the patch so far? Uh oh. Okay, this is gonna resolve and then we can spread. Please don't spread in my general direction. Thank you. <laughs> Ceremonial pillar. Like, I'm just noticing the name of that. <laughs> the song's so good. It's very, I don't know, cheerful. Kind of like, I don't know, it gives me like those, um, like Titania vibes. It's like the song is cheerful, but she's gonna bust our ass. What is the wolf? Is that her? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Why are you so beautiful? Look at that. Oh, I'm in the wrong side. I'm fine. Wow. So pretty. Yeah, it does, it, it's very, very anime. I think the wolf is gonna charge in my direction. Yes. Don't be where I am. Blue moon. So the moon's gonna do the same thing as the other moon or no? Where is the moon? I love the sound of like the, the wolf growling. Uh oh. Oh well. Oh well. Do you think it would be fun if there was like a like a hard version of the alliance raids? Kind of like a savage alliance raid? No. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, I could do that. It would be very chaotic cuz of like so many people and such, but I think it would be fun. Cuz it's hard to like choreograph that. Sort of. Yeah, well hard is never impossible. So this is the last moon that goes off, right? That one, and then we can stand there. Yeah, all good. So basically when they go yellow, they're trouble. And this is, I think this is bait. Yeah. So you have to just like make sure that you're not where other people have baited it and that's it. Okay, that's fun. That wolf is so gorgeous though. I want that mount. Imagine sitting like this, like the way she's sit sitting right now. Imagine if that was a mount. How cool would that be? Uh, we're gonna be in trouble if we're in the middle, I think. Well, I tried not to kill anyone. I think this one is- this one might be the last. No, okay. 
Okay, we're fine. That one, and then here, and we're good. Whee! Alliance C is not doing very well. <laughs> Fun, wasn't it? Oh, dreams may yet become reality. Thank you. She has my previous hair color. <laughs> I think I'm more blue than green now, you know, I can't fully see it. Look at my headpiece not matching with anything. <laughs> Now story time! <laughs> that was very fun, wasn't it? I love yeah, that. Okay, so there's gonna be loot. But I can't really get anything. Okay, hopefully... Okay, there's nothing for me. Okay, I already got it. Wind up alone as the minion! Oh, nice. I rolled an 85. Imagine I get it. Come on. Okay, there's music that I'm never gonna get with these rolls. Who has the best glam? This person. Can I get the minion? <laughs> Aww. I rolled an 85 and I didn't get it. Feels bad. Michelle is the last fight, but her fight is still perfect. It is, it is. Well, at least, at least Halon is the, the minion, right? <laughs> and I guess it's, it's most people's favorite, so... No cards for me, no minions for me, I'm not even gonna get the, the music rolls because of my pitiful RNG, that's okay. <laughs> one day. Like, I, I'm gonna do it one more time tonight, probably. Well, story time. Did you load, by the way? Hello, are you there? Hello? Luna is not here? Like, I'm waiting for you. I don't want to spoil you the story, are you there? Oh, he might not be here. Huh. That's weird. What I'm guessing happened is that his phone died. Rod, thank you so much and welcome. How are you doing? Did this yesterday it was pure chaos. Never had a clue what was going on and died multiple times. I think it's fine. I don't think anyone anyone cares about that. Um, like on the first week, and you know, people people learn every week. Like there's always like new players learning it. So I I, I don't think that that's anything to to really worry about. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with the story. I do presume that Lunet is around. It's just that his phone died. Anyway, Kraus says you're both safe. Thank goodness, because that that normally happens when uh, when that happens. <laughs> you have the data then. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't suppose I could do the honors and replace the transcriber cartridge. I've always wanted to take a closer look. Take care of moving it now. We don't want anything to happen to the data. <laughs> Carefully does it. Come to me, O oh knowledge divine. Come to me. <laughs> what is that? <sighs> ah. 
Hi. <laughs> Maybe we're not supposed to be taking this info? It's alright, the cartridge is safe. Yeah, unless the goddess just like goes ahead and steals it. Let's finish the task before there are any more surprises. My headpiece is mismatching. Hi, did your phone, di phone die? My bad. Yeah, yes, that's it. okay. That's okay. Sorry, I continued. I, I thought, I assumed that you were also giving the story, so. Sorry about that, my bad. That's totally fine. Are you terribly behind, though? No, I don't think so. Okay. Wow. They're so pretty. You have our gratitude for bringing us closer to achieving our dream. No, oh, Athic, must you always be so formal? Although he has trouble expressing it, I assure you my brother is absolutely giddy with joy. Why are you here, Nofeka? Have you not sufficiently amused yourself with the mortals? <laughs> Aw, not nearly. I would talk to them some more. She has such a beautiful dress. We could have been playful is the best, right? <laughs> She has a beautiful dress. Dress. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. What did you hear? <laughs> no, I didn't compliment her cleavage on stream. I don't do these things. I'm a lot more wholesome than that. <laughs> 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 Shut up. <laughs> Novika promised you the key to deciphering the monument, did she not? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Then you would do well to hold in your minds that which harbors information. Come now, brother. You need to speak plainer than that. To clarify, we shall create the objects you need, but your assistance is required to give them form. She's so cute. She has a yeah, cute like haircut. Her. What? I like her like hoodie thing. Yeah, me too. Worry not, appearance has no effect on function. Just try and imagine that which in your minds is used to hold information. <laughs> like brain? <laughs> Ima imagine we spawn that. <laughs> Nothing would spawn in mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Books, books, parchment, book. What is this? Is that a tombstone? <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, what kind of trickery is that? <laughs> there, these instruments shall be useful in your quest. Oh, please no. Please no. I don't want to be collecting any more of that. Look at my angry face. <laughs> Look like poetic to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't want this to be useful. Across yours, yeah, lie eternal stones that hold the information required to complete the words of the monument. Great. <laughs> right? By holding an instrument out to a stone, it will take that information onto itself. It's like, please, no. They knew what they were doing with that. They knew that everybody was going to be like, no. <laughs> we scattered these stones across the realm that mortals would not uncover our secrets. Of late, however, it would seem you have found alternate uses for them as objects of worship. Could they be the marks of the Twelve? I love how they are, their eyes get like smaller. Like they kind of like squint when you're right. <laughs> They are, aren't they? Oh, to think that they harbored information on the gods. It seems we have our next destinations. Aside from the three city-states, I believe the marks are located in Carthas and Mordona. I propose we split up, the quicker to finish the task. I wish to come too. Aww. How's she gonna hang out? That big? Or does she have like a smaller form? 
No, Memphi Nets would not do to burden these children, so... After all this time, we finally have the chance to speak with mortals, to learn about them from up close, and we're not like to have another. No, you'll have a chance every week. <laughs> I must say, I share Memphina's view. We definitely do. <laughs> Eating you alone. I'd like to learn about you too, and I believe I speak for all of us. By all means, let us travel together. Music to my ears. We shall watch over you and see that you safely reach your destinations. Without further ado, then. Not so fast. Oh, gosh. <laughs> He's so funny. Did you think you could s go frolicking without us? The others have our domain well in hand, so we are coming too. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the face, though. That's precious. Well, from well now, far be it from us to stop you. Let's assume I d our disguises too, and then each choose a mortal to accompany. <gasps> Who do we get to hang out? Hmm. I'll take Nautica. I don't think. Can we choose? Please let it be something inconspicuous. <laughs> We're just gonna have a bunch of pets with us. That's inconspicuous. There we go. <laughs> hey, that's like my uh, my companion. I think I have Fenrir. Hmm. I believe my destination is Thanalan. Then it's Lanasha Paraha, the Twelve's Wood for Kryle. And last but not least, Mordona and Kurthas for Derek and B. Will you be alright, Kryle? I shall be fine. You needn't worry. Oh, you must still be loading. <laughs> Derek says, We abided by the gods' selections, but why do you suppose the two of us were grouped together? Why, because you make the most intriguing pair, says Memphina. The gods' felling hero and the world-faring explorer. <laughs> he likes that. <laughs> I shall relish the chance to learn about both of you. Oh, Mavina is a bunny. He's cute. Now then, the others have already set forth, so let us do the same. Aside from my own mark, I believe we'll find those of, of Thaliac and Halone and Mordona and Kurthas. Who's the Fender? I don't know. At first I got really confused because that's the that's the 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 companion that I have out right now. And I was like, why is it showing in the cutscene? But then I realized that someone just turned into it. I'm not sure who it is. Mavia says, Oh my, what an adorable creature. Delight to meet you, little one. Alone is Fenrir. Hello. It seems to want to join us too. What if Coco is also a a god? Right? In disguise. <laughs> what an unusual company this has become. The gods truly know no inhibition. <laughs> Forgive me, Dee. I couldn't have anticipated this turn of events. Fenrir is so much bigger than them. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we go. In heavenly company, Mavina is fairly bouncing up and down in her eagerness to set forth. Well, what are we waiting for? Let us seek out the marks at once. Hey, are you catching up? I know that, uh, I know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm at the same place where you are. What? I'm there. Oh, okay, okay. I wish you would get the chosen deity to follow you. That would have been so cool. Like mine, I think is Memphina. I'm actually, can, can I check that? I think it is, but I can check. Like, it's probably just accidental, but yes, that would have been so cool. 
that uh, if they have made that. But that would have been so many like different cutscenes and variations, variations and stuff. I I don't know if they were ready to to commit to that, but it would have been so nice. Yes. Minus hello. What? Minus hello. I see. No need to be so hasty. Where can I read that? Shall we then leave? The nearest mark is Thaliax, just outside of Mordona. If memory serves, it overlooks the lake at a place called Rather Ra not Ra Rathfrost. Not Rather Frost. <laughs> it's in your profile. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Memphina, yes. Well, she follows me, so <laughs> I got mine. So did I. Then you got alone, yeah. <laughs> That's actually funny. Is this? Oh, I see. At the furthest possible place. <laughs> I love how these quests are just like, hey, let's give you some random money along the way. <laughs> I feel seen with all my spending habits. I wonder if I can go this way. I kind of messed up my route. Nope. Oh my god, I got lost in Mordona. <laughs> no, I can't even go upstairs. Is it upstairs? <laughs> upstairs. Up. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now then, we are to hold out an instrument to the stone. Would you care to do the honors here? Are we gonna be? Are we able to dye the the gear from the raid? I think so. Or is that something that becomes possible later on? No. Um, in the first tier, you were able to. So I think so. I see. I see. The instrument vibrates rapidly. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> they couldn't have written anything else. <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> Tis done. Grumble. What? That's not a grumble. <laughs> Tis done. The information held in the stone has been etched. <laughs> As Athlix said, these stones are eternal. No matter their shape or location, their nature is unchanging. Together with the monument in the Omphalos, they have remained the same since time immemorial. Twas the love that men bear for us, and we for the star, that compelled us to create the monument and the stones. And though men do not know the truth of the stones, they offer them prayer. This acts as a manifestation of your bond with us, while the stones are a manifestation of our bond with the stars. With the star. And so, by praying to the stones, you effectively cultivate a bond between yourselves and us and the star. Delightful, is it not? Yeah. <clears throat> Though we appreciate your eagerness to talk, perhaps we should save some conversation for the destinations to come. If we linger too long in any one place, we are liable to be late to reconvene with the others. They let us make for the central highlands of Kerthas, when within the Furies' gaze, my own mark awaits. Where is the closest? I'll work. I already... Oh, I see. No, I'm morphing. <laughs> Unable to accept teleport, you have not met requirements. What requirements? <laughs> like... What? Maybe because I was warping as well. Like, that's a very vague explanation. <laughs> I love this mount. It's so fun. It's a good story, isn't it?
I remember the the last tier being much much longer for some reason do you maybe it was because the it was the intro to the story that I had like a really long intro quest do you remember that yes it took us basically the whole stream I think so no 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 I wasn't streaming uh back th back then when I did that part I recorded the footage and I think that's something that I uploaded I didn't do it online didn't we do it in two parts? We did the second part. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. So. I don't think we did it in two parts. Oh, you think maybe that we did the story later on? Maybe. I actually, I actually can't remember. Maybe. But maybe I uploaded it as a video later on. I'm not sure. There it is, the Mark of the Fury. It wouldn't do to burden you constantly. I shall extract the information this time. With your vibrating device. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, alone, you've grown noticeably more imposing this past millennium. There are also more statues in, in the Heaven of Ice. Oh, but an idea occurs to me. V, this time I want you to share what you know about the worship of Halone. Oh my god. I dare say it would be interesting to hear what mankind thinks of her from your perspective. Oh god. You often hear Halone's name invoked in battle. Yes. The church is returning to its roots and moves to separate itself from the state. The Ashgardian Orthodox Church is the heart of faith in the theory. I'm gonna I go only with... have two options. Why do you have three? I don't know. What, what Which options do you have? Um, you often hear Halone's name invoked in battle, and the Ishgardian Orthodox Church is the heart of the faith in the theory. Oh, I have also the church is returning to its roots and moves to separate itself from the state. Well, I'm gonna click on that if that's something that you don't have. Maybe I did like a side quest or something like that. So I want to see what, what they're gonna yeah. tell me. You don't click away from yours, because I want to hear yours too. Alone says, Ah, so the people's faith continues to evolve. You and yours are ever on the move, marching inexorably forward. It's a quality I find admirable. What, what do you get? I chose the first one, the battle, mm -hmm. and it says, Ah, yes, ever did I... Sorry, one sec. Ah, yes, ever did I feel the power, the people's fervent desire to be strong, that they might protect that which they hold dear. I see. Well, how very fascinating. It's a fine thing indeed to hear directly from mortals. Still, as much as Halone loves her children, it troubled her to see them at war with the dragons, to see those who share the stars spill each other's blood. As you should well know, Manfina, it isn't our place to judge the faith of mortals. Even when we lend them our aid, we must refrain from intervening in their affairs. It's like what, playing Sims on autoplay? <laughs> Lest there be any doubt, mankind's faith in us is mankind's alone. By your prayers, our forms are become that which they need to be. Apologies for the wait. Acquire the information, have you? Excellent. Let us proceed to the next mark, mine. As I recall, it lies near the steel vigil by the cliff west of the entrance. Follow me. Oh, that's why she told him that, because, uh... Because she, because he brought them to his stone, and she was like, "Well, this is not the only stone that's around here." <laughs> that's why she scolded him. But that's not around here. That's okay. I see. Okay, I'll work. I'm kind of surprised that her um, that her mark is here. I didn't expect it. I'm just randomly hiding behind a wall. 
Are you... Oh, you're here. Okay. Well, now, aren't we quick? My mark lies just ahead. Let's wait for the others and then continue together. It's not behind the wall. It's nearby. <laughs> well, we were standing behind a wall. Oh, look, someone's praying. How delightful to see one of my faithful children. What if that's not, like... Oh, benevolent goddess, grant me deliverance, I beseech you. Save my soul. You! You're the one who was hunting down the lambs of Dalamut. <laughs> oh shit, we're famous here. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you wouldn't stop till you've dealt with every last one of us. And now you've come for me. I ought to think that this is her will. The lambs of Dalamud. They are, uh, they are the cults that appeared prior to the seventh number of calamity, are they not? In the name of their faith, they adopted, abducted, and sacrificed innocent souls and did not fear death. I've committed no crimes. I swear it. Memphina as my witness. In the beginning, like, you, imagine if he knew whether she was actually there. And she's like, I didn't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, we simply prayed to the twin moons for Dalamut to one uh, to one day shepherd our souls to the bosom of his mistress. <laughs> oh god! But it all changed when Dalamut began turning red. More and more of us began believing that he was our savior. That we must prove our loyalty with our lives, else we would suffer eternal damnation. So that's how your group took on its fanatical ways and came to be branded as a dangerous cult. And at some point, I assume you were tasked with hunting them down. <laughs> I used to be a merchant in Old Doth, but timid as I am, I struggled to survive in that cutthroat world. That's why I turned to Memphina. I wanted to bask in her gentle acceptance <laughs> and gain courage from her strong and faithful hound. They were my solace, and the only way I could be at peace with myself. But they took it from me. My fellows who committed those horrible deeds and those who reviled me as one of them, they took it away. You're strong, aren't you? Grant me deliverance, I beg you. Judge me and show me the way. Is he asking for us to kill him? <laughs> I can't just- I just can't bury it anymore. What good is a god I can't see if he won't grant me a thimble of sucker no matter how much I pray? Aww. <laughs> They're like feeling so bad. <laughs> you mustn't seek in men what you seek in gods. Strong as she is, she is but a mortal. Like you, she is made of flesh and blood and possessed of her own will. Nothing more, nothing less. It avails you not to raise others up while belittling yourself. You are your own person with a path of your own to walk. Even should you be taken by despair, that you are here now makes no different from this woman. So, believe me when I say, all will be well. Keep your faith in Memphina. Believe in her love and grace, and you will surely learn to love others as well as yourself. Please forgive me for my unseemly outburst. I had been feeling lost, and all my anguish came spilling out. It was Memphina herself who brought you here, I'm certain of it, <laughs> to encourage and guide me. Taking your words to heart, I'll try searching for new path. Should you feel lost again, take to the road. See what is out there, learn how others live and think, and you are bound to find your way. Blessings be upon you on the road ahead, dear child. Did you say something? <laughs> what? No? <laughs> what do you mean? Aww. That was cute. <clears throat> Aww. Such a good story. Ah, 
Unsolicited though it was, I don't regret saying those words to him. He needed to hear them. But come, be. This time it's your turn to extract the information. Are we gonna, like, hear this information? <laughs> The instrument vibrates rapidly. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> it, it's funny. How is it not? Forgive me, V. I fear I've caused you trouble. I'm relieved to know that. You truly are strong in body and spirit both. Like, what would happen if the bunny was to just die? Like, if someone killed the bunny in this form? Would they kill a god? I think that's an invincible bunny. I see. So the bunny can like kick the shit out of you if, if it wants to. Yeah. Okay. The <laughs> fire be it for me to ask this of you, but please do not hold it against that child. We do not wish for our existence to bring grief to our children. Yet no matter in which uh, which faith, we are who we are because of those who believe in us. My hound is no exception. He was born when men came to worship the object their ancestors cast onto the heavens. We are not all powerful. We can't grant all of mankind's wishes. Nonetheless, we always, always hear you. No hope is too small, no prayer too faint. Yeah, imagine, imagine having to hear all of that and not being able to do almost anything about it. That sucks. I just wanted to make that clear, lest you forget we love mankind dearly. <laughs> and it hops away. Are you... did you load it? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Divine non-intervention. Something appears to weigh upon Derek's mind. With this, we have completed our tasks and, and may return to the Onkelos. Yet I can't help but think about Kryle. Gratia seemed to be worried about her, did he not? It was as if something weighed on her, her mind. Though she is in company of deities, I find myself worrying too. Whatever it is, there's only one way to find out. You could ask her directly. Like, I don't know why they're so worried about Kryle. I, I, like, I don't... Maybe I've forgotten, but like I don't really understand the, the the reference. Yes, I suppose so. If there are no objections, let us seek out Kryle. She has headed to the Twelve's Wood with Nofika and Fyrga. Yes, they are presently too far for us to sense, but we should be able to locate them once in the forest. I see. In that case, let us make for Gridania. Like, am I missing something? Because I can't remember. Like, maybe it was in the last quest or or. I can't recall either. It's like, why are they so worried about her? Ah, oh, I always try to mount. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. No, I don't know. Was it from the last story or something else? I'd like to think that you know, since they said that Kryl was going to be more important, that this story is going to give like a little bit of context, maybe? As to, like, why? <laughs> Look, <laughs> this is my Fenrir. <laughs> that was already out. And it's the same as Halone. <laughs> I love that. I didn't know he was going to she was going to turn into it. It's, it's, it's actually so nice. Like, I saw mine and I was like, why doesn't it have a nameplate? <laughs> No, they don't have an interaction. Feels bad. <laughs> so, here we are in Gridania. Can you sense Nofika and Byrgut? I do, but something is strange. Indeed, they appear to be in different places. Nofika is the nearer of the two and is quite close by. I shall go and find her. Wait, you mustn't go off on your own. 
Ugh, confound it all. After Herbie. Well, I guess this is how they start off the next story, I suppose. They said nearby. That's Conjurer's Guild, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is not the definition of nearby. <laughs> right? That's like the furthest away. <laughs> <laughs> nearby like gods underestimate the distance that you need to, to traverse to get to Conjurer's Guild <laughs> oh, so you still get to see like all of their like, stories as well there she is well I wasn't expecting to see you all here it's off the matter you're supposed to be with Kral and Baragoth. Where are they? I love this min- is, is this a minion? Like the little sylph? I don't have that one. Like maybe this would be from like the reputation? Or... Maybe. Yeah, know. like the beast tribe? Yeah, like... it's so cute. Uh, we became separated while I was distracted listening to the elementals. The beings are the voice of those who call the wood home. As I'm the patron of this land, they could not help but report to me. <laughs> She's precious. No, I should have been in Gudania. Right? <laughs> you gods can sense each other. Even should you become separated, shouldn't be, it be a simple matter to find him again? Indeed. It would seem you are keeping something from us, Novika. <laughs> or maybe someone's in trouble. <laughs> Oh gosh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> she looks angry. <laughs> I want that minion. Oh, hello, there's simply no fooling you. Very well, I shall confess, confess all. The child, Kryle, wanted to visit our stones alone, you see, to complete her task without us watching over her. We merely respected that wish. With her abilities, I do not believe she's any, in any danger. But the warrior that he is, Byrgoth decided to follow after her discreetly. If it is her wish, then indeed we must abide by it. As for Byrgoth, ah yes, I sense him in a place men call the South Shroud. One of the stones is situated there, I believe near Camp Tranquil. Let us search that area for Byrgoth. If we find him, we should find Kryle as well. Imagine in quests, like they didn't show you where they are, and you just have to actually look. Right, because based on the reference. <laughs> well, long ago that would have been the case. Like World of Warcraft didn't used to have um, these quest uh, like markers. They were introduced like in later in the expansion. I see. So, like people who yeah. played World of Warcraft like classic. They, uh, they know the struggle. I don't know, some people... I guess, like, too. Hmm? I guess this, yeah, as, as, I guess you're trying to say, like, some people also like that. I guess, well, some people like, like it, yeah. They find it roleplay-ish, but, like, these days it feels like a, like your time is wasted. <laughs> I guess, because, you know, we're kind of used to not having to do that, <laughs> I guess. Well, yeah. You search the broken barrel, but find no god disguised as an adorable critter. Okay. Suspicious Spriggan. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I love how they call him suspicious. <laughs> no. What brings you all here? We understand you've been following Kryle. Where is she? It's like, oh, she's gone. <laughs> but why does she want to go alone? Having acquired information from my stone, she now makes for Athel. Athel. Athelks. I keep my distance to avoid being seen and was about to continue on when you appeared. Athelk's stone is her last destination, is it not? Let us all go and meet her there. If everyone so wishes, then very well. What a goose chase. To hasten our passage, I shall call upon Master Wyro's servants to bear the mortals. Oh wow.
No way. No, I want to see. What do you mean? <laughs> like, what? I want to see the like the. I want that Lord of the Rings scene with like sitting on the bird and. <laughs> No? Never mind. Yeah. Anyways, we, we found the We found the Birdos. Because it seems we have the we have the use of these hawks. Let's see if we can spot Kral from above. I will bring our companions so you don't need to worry about them. Are you ready? Mount the hawk and search for Kral? Yes. Oh, I imagine we got it as a mount. How cool would that be? Yeah, that's I did get my Lord of the Rings experience. It Go, my like, huh? What? It does look like the Stormblood one. Uh huh. Like the extreme trial mount. Yeah, but like th these are like more natural, and look at how the wings move. Like I feel like the. It's very realistic, actually. I must thank you. Be talking to you helped me to find a resolve to seek out Kryl. Like imagine they just like threw in a random mount as a quest reward at the end. <laughs> That'd be so cool. No signs of her here. Let's continue on to Apple's Stone. How how cool is this? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, this is pretty good. Hmm? Yeah, this is pretty good. They should also just add this, like, you know, like the chocobos? Mm -hmm. just, um, yeah. One, and then the automatic well, should have that with this. For example, in WoW, this is this is how the fly masters uh do it like you don't walk around but you sit on a fly master and the game takes you around like this I see. it's exactly so it's the same what so it's not a cutscene it's not a cutscene you actually fly through the regions oh. and like you get to like see things and whatnot well now did you come all this way just to check on me i've been on edge worrying that i might stumble into odin <laughs> so it gave me a bit of a fright <laughs> yeah i bet <laughs> Now, Fika tells us what you wish to that you wish to travel alone. What prompted you to send the gods away? Hmm, it's difficult to explain. I suppose I suppose I wanted to seek the answers in my own way. Like, is she like a master thief <laughs> with like her own agenda of a sort? As the gods told us, if you if we wish to know the truth, we must discover it for ourselves. In spite of this, they've seen to fit to not only set us upon the right path, but accompany us besides. This bespeaks the faith that they have in man's spirit of inquiry, and it gives me heart. After all, it is the self-same spirit that defines the students of Balthasion. Like everyone, I want to uncover the truth of the Twelve, to know their aspirations and understand them. And having seen a dear friend embark on countless adventures, I've developed a desire to see and experience the world for myself. There are dangers out there, of course, but I wanted to prove that I can handle them and perform my task. I see. Indeed, as much as we can learn from others, there's no substitute for seeing with one, one's own eyes. And in yours, I see the gleam of yearning for exploration and discovery. It reveals to me the love you bear for our star, and it makes me glad. What is this all of a sudden? It's embarrassing when you say such things with a straight face. Right then, I've yet to acquire the information here, so I'll tend to it at once. Perhaps you'd like to wait for me at Quarry Mill. It's like, can we not watch? <laughs> Like, whatever, Kryle. Like, I'm just worried that Kryle might have, like, some sort of destiny, kind of like Memphina, you know, like Memphilia. Like, I don't know. Like, turning into, like, a non human or whatever. Well, she was Heidelin's host, right? Well, yeah, that's what I'm, like, kind of worried about. That that's where they're going with the story, that that's where they would go. But we'll see. And she was exper um, experimented on by Xenos. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, um, are you ready? Uh, give me like a few, uh, a minute, a minute. A minute? Like a full minute? <laughs> it's hard to say. The cutscenes. Well, I see. A 
Okay, never mind. Not a minute. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's wait for Kryl here. Nolpika and Pyragot are with her, so she will be fine. Like, I don't see you around. Oh, there you are. <sighs> First the man and Memphina's mark, and now Kryl. In the course of traveling with you and yours, it seems that I inevitably end up encroaching upon others' lives. <laughs> oh. I yours as well, though nothing binds you to me. You followed me ever since I tended your wounds. You're free to go anywhere, you know. A person's life belongs to that person alone. Others can't be expected to assume responsibility for it, and thus it is wrong to interfere. Like I'm I'm guessing there's something about that Ovo Ovo that's different. <laughs> oh, no. Alas, once I've glimpsed someone's heart, I find I can't avert my gaze. It truly is difficult to be amidst people. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly go to the bathroom, and then I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Um, the secret of the twelve. Derek casts a languid gaze to and fro. Oh, I guess this is where we're gonna get to read the info. Are you Are you there, by the way? Hello, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay. It doesn't take too long to extract the information. Kyle should be here any moment now. Apologies for the wait. With that, I've obtained information from all of my stones. You've taken care of yours already, yes? Thank you for worrying about me. While it's good to know that I can handle myself, I'm heartened to be doing this with you all. I owe you thanks as well, Barakot and Nofika, for accepting my request with good grace. Think not of it. You did well to see your task through, little one. Indeed. Come. Um, let us all return to the Omphalos. <coughs> well, I guess we go back. That was a wild ride. <laughs> I like how in these like quests after you know after the fights and stuff like they just get you to to like go to so many places that have been around forever but with a different purpose feels good like they use old zones all the time yeah that's true like for example in wow that's never the case or almost never the case you hardly ever go like to an to an older zone you're spoiling me with teleports today what uh i don't know if it's just me but the way derek talks makes him seem like he is not mortal maybe a god um sorry <laughs> <laughs> um honestly 
thank you. Um, it feels to me like, I don't know, like I've never had that impression. I just think that he really enjoys his own company rather than like other people's company. And I've just seen him as, you know, just a just an introvert, I guess. But, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe if you like think about it in a different way, it could be that there's a little bit more to it, but we'll see. It's definitely interesting to, to think about it. Um, are you are you in the cutscene, by the way? Yeah. yeah. You, you took your time, did something happen? Everything happened. <laughs> what do you mean? That's rude, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> right? Ah, so you rendezvoused with Kryl. How was your experience with the gods, if I may ask? Not only did you help a disillusioned man find his way, you looked in on Kryl besides. Thank you, V. And you as well, Derek. I fear I overstepped my bounds, but what's done is done. We shall return to our sanctums. You have our gratitude for the delightful time. Aww, Nymeria is a fish. <laughs> That's cute. By holding your instruments out to the monument, you will be able to augment the missing information. Be well, dear children. Shall we, then? Like I keep hearing sounds of like someone being in my apartment, but then I realize that my mouse is so loud I can hear her from the other room. <laughs> it's like, no, not the poetics! <laughs> Please, no! Right. I need that for Relic. <laughs> like, Please, no! Well, I guess this is what we've been working for. <laughs> He's so happy. I love how Rogadine's, like, cheer. Amazing. What was impossible to decipher is now crystal clear. <laughs> no pun intended, huh? Without further ado, I shall read out the epigraph. As beings who endure by the will of the star, we are susceptible to the influence of hopes and prayers. Thus do we commit to our yokes herein, lest we stray from our purpose. He who is named by our God shall preside over construction. His duty is to fortify the works of men and encourage them to build. He who named Rogar shall preside over destruction. His duty to galvanize the star's beating heart and facilitate mankind's regeneration. Oh, just give me a second. I'll be right back. I wish Square Enix would teach us how to make good looking femoral, right? Like, I used to be one, but, uh, but unfortunately, or fortunately, not anymore, because I do love my Aurora, but I miss her sometimes. Uh, my kiddo is back home, and I haven't seen him in a couple of days because he was at grandma's, so I'll be finishing after, after I'm done uh, with this. Anyways, uh, she whose name Azima shall preside over the sun, her duty to nurture its life, giving light and illuminate the truth for all to see. He who is named Nalathal shall preside over the subterrane. His duty is to make glean the riches hidden in the darkest depths and amend themselves. She who is named Nofika shall preside over fertility. Her duty to fill the land with life and prepare a path for of peace and plenty. He who is named Ath Yeah, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> you, yeah, she looks it. <laughs> you whose name Athok shall preside over space and time. His duty is to endow the star with material vigor that mankind's march may never cease. She who is named alone shall preside over the glaciers. Her duty to hold the melting ice at bay and imbue men with constancy and tranquility. She who is named Athena shall preside over the moon. Her duty is to perpetuate the turning of night and day and foster love in the hearts of all. He who is named Thaliac shall preside over the rivers. His duty is to quench the thirst of men and water their minds with wisdom. She who is named Nymea shall preside over the stars. Her duty is to preserve the celestial fabric of the seasons and weave the threads of men's lives. She who is named Limbine shall preside over the seas. Her duty is to administer the tides and inspire men to come together as one and seek new horizons. He who is named Oskon shall preside over the mountains. His duty is to sustain the breath of the firmament and in wandering share in men's solitude. Like, I feel like we kind of knew a lot of these things already. He who is unnamed shall watch unflinching. His duty to stand guard over his charge, always on to the end. He who is unnamed. Are they introducing, like, the like another god? Maybe the one who created it, them all. Maybe, like, Opo Opo is, like, the... <laughs> it's Sauron. Hmm? It's Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope not. There the epigraph concludes. We've been given quite a lot to ponder. Like, who's unnamed, who watches over all of them. And he's been around. Like, I don't know, that's just my theory. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I thought also. is gorgeous up here though. Mm -hmm. Hopes and prayers influencing their nature. How have you any thoughts on the contents of the epigraph? The prayers of their faithful made Halon more imposing. The worship of Dalamud brought forth Menthina's hound. Um I don't know. I'm picking the first one. Yeah, me too. Because that's my god. Well, yeah, but like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it made more sense, anyway. You mean to say the prayers have changed the Twelve into their present forms? That is rather hard to believe. So basically, the game's telling you that God is what you make it out to be. <laughs> that's why she looks so cool. <laughs> yeah. Given what we know of Dynamis, I believe it is entirely possible. In the presence of that energy, hopes and prayers have more tangible results than what might expect. Its power may be curbed upon our star, but over thousands of years of worship, it could have influenced the gods in various ways. Ways such as that which we just described for one. Others that come to mind are Halone's shield and spear, which reflect her status as a goddess of war. And I mean a spinning wheel, which is an apt apparatus for a goddess of fate. Thus did they- oh my god, the construction works are starting. Uh, thus did they create this monument, this yoke, that they might never lose sight of their duty, no matter how much they may change. I see. This is like a thing that keeps them what they are. I'm inclined to agree with Raha. The gods wrote what they that they endure by the will of the star. What, who that refers to, we all know too well. Eidolon. By sundering reality, she must have known that she would shake the very foundation of existence. Anticipating the potential chaos, she charged her collaborators with maintaining stability. If this is true, then might, might not the 13th unnamed being be the Watcher on the Moon? Really? The pieces certainly fall into place. I wonder if he would be willing to share what he knows. Wow, huh. really? Wow. Huh. As it stands, we had to encounter three gods. As, and as there's no telling what may happen when we fought them all, 
I believe we should try to uncover as much of the truth as we can, the better to know how to proceed. Is this like them telling us that we'll meet next time? <laughs> to that end, ere we seek out the Watcher, I shall return to Charlie and to compile our findings. The data from the Analyzer, not least of all. Crazy. So they're like introducing another god and I guess that's gonna be the final boss? It's the guy from the moon, the, soul, the guy that's just watching everywhere. I know, I know, but like, no, we didn't see his form. We don't know like what is, what he's called, for real. To think that the investigation might lead us to the moon. I eagerly look forward to the next stage of our field work. That's really cool how they're connecting the moon into this. I mean, Heidelin did send us there, and they did. She did. Say yeah. When? One second. V, like as not, yet more grueling encounters with the gods of weight. You should rest up and gather your strength. Hey, are you are you here? Now he's just walking around with this instrument like it's not even heavy at all. Not long now ere we arrive at the truth. For the longest time, I've journeyed alone, not involving myself in the affairs of others. But I've enjoyed our time together. You've undertaken the investigation with all earnestness, and it has been a pleasure to be a part of it. When I imagine the moment we must part ways, I can't help but be saddened. And it surprises me that I feel that way. Aww. Forgive me, I didn't mean to act sentimental. If you'll excuse me, I shall head outside for some fresh air. There he goes again. V, do you suppose you could follow after him? I can't quite say why, but I feel as though he'll suddenly vanish one day, never to return. Like, there is something about him that we don't know, for sure. Like, there's, there's something. Maybe I do see that now. But. There's something about him. Yeah, like, I mean, they're certainly making it out to be, but I guess we're just, we're just going to have to... Have to figure, like, have to wait for for the next one. So, oh, we're actually gonna part ways at the exact same place as the last time. You're even going to make it to work. <laughs> I thought you might be late. <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have to leave soon. Though. Yeah, like half an hour. Yeah, well, I'm gonna leave as soon as this quest is done because my kiddo is here. Hey, right, sounds good. Oh, it's Yubi. What is it? Snowman's worried that I'll suddenly vanish, you say? Well, as the saying goes, all things must come to an end, whether we will it or no. When our work is finished, we must go our separate ways. Doing so will sadden me, as you know. Yet, that sadness is part of the joy that I have derived from our companionship. That's so sad, Suze. So I will accept when the time comes and strive with you to the last. No! <laughs> Hmm? What? Oh. 
As you know, my friend, I would rather you live your own life. But having helped you... Oh my god, the music as well. That's not fair that they're playing this song. <laughs> But having helped you, I won't send you away against your will. Well, you're a busy woman, so I won't keep you. As before, rest assured, I will share with you any tidings I receive from Cryo. Take care, my friend, and I will see you again in due course. Aww. That was very good, wasn't it? So cute. No achievement? I thought there was gonna be something. Oh, okay. We don't have another quest, so I'm going to assume that that was that. Is that it? It's just the secret of 12. There's. I don't know. I was expecting some sort of. I don't know. A flashy effect or whatever. Um, are you done? Yeah, I just finished. Okay. Um, this is where I'll, I'll go as well. Uh, like I said, my kiddo has just arrived and I haven't seen him in a couple of days and we have to get ready for a birthday party. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. And I won't be streaming later tonight, but I will be working on my videos. So you should be expecting something tomorrow as well. And tomorrow I'll be back uh, on stream as well. So I will be seeing you then. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And it was, it was a lot of fun for me. I, I really, really had a good time. And uh, thank you for joining me as well hope you no had problem. a good time yeah it was, it was very good yeah i'm I glad to get that at that, that rain though yeah <laughs> thank you snilid and and i appreciate that i i think it's gonna be a great time i'm actually looking forward to, to going out a little bit and uh, yeah i will be seeing you tomorrow same time so 12 p.m central european time or three in the morning i guess pacific time and we're gonna play some more final fantasy 14. there's a lot to look forward to there's the extreme trial there's unreal there are plenty of things to do and i'll make sure to to do at least some of that uh tomorrow anyways thanks so much have a great day take care and bye-bye